What's going on, everyone? So originally we were led to believe that Tabitha was this chosen character that was going to save the children and thus free everyone from Fromville. That the only way for everyone to get out was for her to save the children. Uh, she didn't know how to save the children, so enlisted with Victor. Victor kind of starts to try to unravel some of his past memories, which we see him continuing to do to this day. And lo and behold, Tabitha finds out, I need to go through the bottle tree, right? Because that's what Miranda did. So Victor leads her to the bottle tree. She goes in the bottle tree to get into the lighthouse in which gets the lighthouse, the boy in white ends up pushing her out, telling her it's the only way, and then she ends up finding her way into the real world. She gets out, and it was like, ha, huh, here it is. She's on the journey to freeing everyone from Fromville, and then she eventually ends up making her way to Henry, which there, she learns a lot. We all learned a lot, right? Because Henry was Miranda's husband, Victor's father, and Tabitha learns that she was chosen. Uh, you see all of Miranda's paintings. I mean, just details about Fromville, right? It's like she was able to remote view the place. She had so many details on just even uh, people living in Fromville, right? The various monsters and things like that. Like, it was incredible to see and kind of start unpacking and unraveling this story. Uh, and then we got the latest episode. And in the latest episode, that all came crashing down. And now, it appears that Tabitha is not the one that is supposed to lead the charge to saving the children. No, 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 no. Which, little side note, um, this confirmed my theory, my like hypothesis of Tabitha wasn't sent to free the children. Tabitha was sent to retrieve Henry. And this was something that I talked about pretty heavily because... Tabitha was led to believe, or she believed, that she needed to save the children in order to get out. But she didn't save the children and still ended up getting out. And then the boy in white ends up leading her down the path that leads her to Henry. And once we got all the information, I was like, okay, it is apparently clear that Henry was the mission. It wasn't to save the children, it was for... Uh, Tabitha to bring back Henry to Fromville. Why? I don't know. We're going to still continue to unpack that. I think it's to unlock or potentially help unlock some, some memories. I think there's going to be a, a significance to Henry at some point that is going to help kind of put another piece to the puzzle uh, is my guess. But I think that this is awesome because, yeah, after we got the information that we got in the recent episode, episode eight, it just it, it confirms what I thought uh, about Henry. I mean, it doesn't, I, let me rephrase that. It doesn't confirm because there could be another reason that maybe we find out later, but I think it makes it that much more likely that Henry, um, was what Tabitha was meant to go retrieve, that that's what Tabitha was meant to do. Uh, and that the boy in white did kind of execute this plan because you no, know, I even said like Victor gives her the lunchbox with the address on there and he has no way of knowing, you know, whether, his dad still lives there or anyone lives there or his dad's even alive or dead or that she's going to end up in Maine, like, unless the boy in white kind of orchestrated it. And then why did she come back when she came back, right? She didn't complete the mission, unless she did. They finally got Henry and Tabitha together in a car, right? I think even if the ambulance never happened, I think that they still were going to end up in Fromville because I think that that was the mission. But I digress. We found out in episode eight that... Christopher was actually intended to be the one to go through the tree. So Victor went and retrieved Jasper and apparently for no reason, <laughs> right? Like apparently he went and retrieved Jasper because he thought Jasper was going to tell him a story that was once told and ended up not getting that story, right? Ended up uh, finding out or remembering that it wasn't Jasper. It was actually the boy in white that was telling Christopher the story and that Victor was just misremembering uh, exactly who was telling the story. So ultimately, you didn't need to get Jasper. Jasper really was just the doll and you wasted your time. You needed to talk to the boy in white. And Christopher, it was relayed that Christopher was the one the boy in white told that he needed to go through the tree. 
that the way to save the children was to, you know, the end is at the beginning. And, you know, that the, the children, uh, you know, were born in the dark and died in the dark, and they trusted and, and had hope uh, and trusted the wrong people and gave hope to the wrong people, and then they were essentially sacrificed, and their hope, uh, you know, bled into the roots that created the symbol and ultimately created the faraway tree. Right? I'm paraphrasing, uh, but basically uh, what Victor relayed in the story, that that's that basically Christopher needed to go through, which, one, that means that Jade is clearly the one that needs to go through the tree, that it's not Tabitha, that Tabitha was never meant to go through the tree, which, again, reinforces my idea that Tabitha didn't go through the tree to get to the lighthouse to save the children. She went to the tree to get to the lighthouse to go get Henry. Right. And maybe it was maybe the boy in white's idea was like, hey, maybe Henry can kind of respark that memory for him. But also, why wouldn't the boy in white just relay that to him? Right. Like there's still things that just don't add up or make sense. And it's just like, you know, like the boy in white's helpful, but not like helpful enough to where he really helps. <laughs> right. Like if that makes sense. But like Jade is because cl Jade is clearly this version of of Christopher. Right? A lot of people have this theory and hypothesis that he's the reincarnation of Christopher and that, you know, Tabitha's the reincarnation of Miranda and all that. I don't know. I don't know if that's the route that they're going to go. It's, I don't rule anything out. Like I always say with from, you never know, right? Anything could happen. We all think it's going left. It ends up going right, right? Like reincarnation would be the least strange thing to happen in this show at this point, right? So, but what we do know is that, again, Tabitha is at least this iteration of Miranda, and Jade is this iteration of Christopher. So it's not Tabitha, who is, again, this iteration of Miranda, that needed to go through the tree. It's Jade that needed to go through the tree. And therefore, also, quick little side note before I continue with saying, that means Victor also killed his mother, by the way. Um, which he came to that realization also, um, for those that, you know, picked up on that and caught that, right? Which, I mean, I think should have, but, you know, that I think is going to have some effects, right? That's going to be something I think is very interesting. But, again, clearly Jade is trying to solve the, you know, the little uh, bottle notes, right? that the, whatever those numbers end up meaning, right? I've talked about, I, I still think that they're very likely dates because just because, because the, the big thing and the why I was like, oh, it's not dates is because of the, uh, like the, what was it? 26, 58 or whatever. Right. But we've seen now through Julie that the, that time is not just like a straight line right, in that place, because Julie goes into the dungeon and literally, like, walks through three different, inst like, occurrences that happen at three different times, so I still think that it very well could be dates, right, I just think that maybe, maybe they're future dates, maybe, you know, you're, you're, you have all these, or maybe they're, maybe they're, this isn't the only Fromville, Right. Maybe like think of it as like, a, you know, like a, like our solar system. Right. You have little planets everywhere. Right. We've seen all these little pocket dimensions. Right. With like the dungeon and stuff. It's, it's very possible that like next door is a, another version of this. And maybe, you know, certain things like the bottle tree and, you know, maybe some maybe one of the, these trees that you can go into. Maybe one of them take you to their area. Right. Like there's I mean, the possibilities are endless in which direction they want to go. But. Clearly, Jade is trying to figure out the numbers. And then on top of trying to figure out the numbers, he also, I believe, is going to come to the realization, or somebody's going to come to the realization, that, hey, you're the one that needs to walk through that tree. Right? Because, again, Victor says that Christopher is the one. At some point, somebody's going to make the connection. Oh, Christopher became obsessed with the symbol. Christopher, you know, was doing this going down the same rabbit hole that jade is going down now and 
he was supposed to go through the tree. And he didn't go through the tree. So we don't have Christopher. Well, oh, well, hey, Jade, right? Like, at some point, somebody's going to come to that realization, come to that conclusion. With either it's Tabitha or, you know, it's maybe it's Sarah or maybe it's Victor himself, right? Or maybe Jade comes to that conclusion himself. Maybe, you know, Tabitha relays that information to him and he's like, I know what I need to do. I need to go through the tree, right? Maybe. What if that's how this season ends is him you know, stepping out and going in the real world like Tabitha did, right? Like, that would be crazy. And then now he's, now he becomes obsessed in the real world with ha trying to figure out how to get everyone else out, right? Or does he just, like, selfishly, like, ah, I got out. They did it. Ha ha. <laughs> like, you know, like, there's a lot of ways that that, that could go even with Jade. But um, clearly, Jade's the one that's meant to go through the tree. I, 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 as soon as they relayed that information, it was like, boom, the light bulb went off. And it was just like, okay. That makes a lot of sense now. And that makes sense why Tabitha, um, she didn't complete her mission. I mean, I mean, even Henry called it out and was like, well, how did you escape, right? Like, wait a minute, if you were chosen and you were supposed to save the children, like, how, how did you escape, right? Like, I, I just think that that's crazy. I, I do. I think that, that now we know Jade is the one that needs to, to step through. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, and I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Um, do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think that, like, yeah, Jade is clearly the one meant to go through uh, the, the the bottle tree, uh, end up getting a lighthouse. He's the one that's destined to save the children, not necessarily Tabitha. It does kind of beg the question, though, is like, okay, well, then why are the children reaching out to Tabitha? But Jade saw the children, too, um, being sacrificed, right? So, again, I, I just feel like, Jade, Jade and Tabitha are clearly connected, right? They're clearly all in. But again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.